Hello everyone, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is first practice question in relations topic. We already learned the definition of reflexive relation, symmetric relation, transitive relation in previous class. In this class, we will try to solve this problem. Try to understand the question. Check whether the relation R defined on this set. R is a relation defined on this set. As R equal to set of all order pairs A comma B such that B equal to A plus 1. So two things are important here. The set, uh, the relation R is defined on which set? I'll take, uh, I'll take a given set as A. Uh, what is the given set? Given set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6. I take an, a given set as A. Now, this relation is defined on set A. How the relation R is defined? R is defined as set of all ordered pairs A comma B such that B equal to A plus 1. Okay. If you observe this relation, this is in set builder form. If we write this relation in roster form, roster form means what? All the elements are listed and separated by commas within flower brackets. So if I write this relation in roster form, it is easy to check whether it is reflexive or symmetric or transitive. So if you observe this, what is A? A is an element in set A. What is B? B is also element in set A. So here A and B are the elements in set A. Okay, I'll try to write this relation in roster form. What is A? A is an element in set A. You take first element 1 in set A. What is B? In the relation, they given that B is A plus 1. That is, A is 1 here. 1 plus 1 is 2. Ordered pair, 1 comma 2. Now you take second element. This is A. If A is 2, if A is 2, what is B? B is 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Now you take the third element. That is 3. <coughs> here A is 3. A is 3. If A is 3, what is B? B is 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is what? 4. Okay. Now you take A equal to 4. If you take A equal to 4, what is B? B equal to 4 plus 1. That is 5. You take A equal to 5. If A equal to 5, B equal to 6. You take a equal to 6. If you take A equal to 6, B equal to 6 plus 1, 7. If you observe here, this A is element in set A, B is also element in set A. When you take an A is 6, we got that B is 7. But 7 is not there in set A. So, you cannot choose the ordered pair 6 comma 7. You cannot choose the ordered pair 6 comma 7. So, this is the relation we got. First of all, they given a set. I taken that set as A and the relation R is defined like this. I written that relation in roster form. If it is in roster form, it is easy to check. The given relation is reflexive or symmetric or transitive. Okay, now we need to check reflexive relation. We will check reflexive relation. Reflexive. How to check? reflexive relation. What is reflexive relation? We know that reflexive relation is for every x belongs to A, for every x belongs to A implies ordered pair x comma x is also there in the relation, then we say that that relation is reflexive relation. So you take an element 1 in set A. You take an element 1 in set A. 1 is there in set A or not? Yes, it is there. Ordered pair 1 comma 1 is there in this relation? You check it. Ordered pair 1 comma 1 is there in this relation? It is not there. So we say that this R is not reflexive. How to write the answer for this? See, for 1 belongs to set A implies ordered pair 1 comma 1 is there in the relation or not? It is not there in the relation. Does not belongs to R. So we say that R is not reflexive or is not reflexive relation. It is not a reflexive relation. Okay. Now, we will check for symmetric relation. 
symmetric relation this relation is symmetric or not how to check the symmetric relation what is symmetric relation first we take an ordered pair a comma b in the relation r if ordered pair b comma a is also there in the relation r then we say that that relation is symmetric relation so first of all you should take an order pair 1 comma 2 in the relation and you have to check you first of all you have to take an order pair in the relation and you have to check that b comma a is there in that relation or not so here i'll take an order pair 1 comma 2 order pair 1 comma 2 is there in the relation yes it is there now you check that order pair 2 comma 1 is there in this relation or not order pair 2 comma 1 is there in this relation no it is not there so with this reason we can say that r is not symmetric so how we'll write let an order pair 1 comma 2 in the given relation okay or order pair 1 comma 2 is there in the given relation now you check that order pair 2 comma 1 is there in this relation no in r order pair 2 comma 1 is not there so what we say we say that r is symmetric or not r is not symmetric r is not symmetric okay now what to check uh, we verified reflexive property it is not reflexive we verified symmetric property it is not symmetric now we will check uh, transitive property what is the transitive property transitive property first will identify a pair of order pairs which are in the form of a comma b and b comma c first we will identify such order pair and we will check that order pair a comma c is there in the relation or not okay now we will follow particular procedure to check the transitive property first you take an order pair 1 comma 2 first order pair you take now you observe that it ends with the 2 this ends with the 2 is there any order any other order pair which starts with the 2 you check here is there any other order pair which starts with the 2 yes here it is there that means we identified a pair which is in the form of a comma b and b comma c so what happened here uh, a comma b b comma c you check that a comma c is there in the relation or not what is a comma c here a comma c is ordered pair 1 comma 3 ordered pair 1 comma 3 is there in this relation no it is not there so it fails to satisfy the transitive property so that we say that the relation is not transitive so how we will write this uh, for for the order pair 1 comma 2 is there in the relation and order pair 2 comma 3 both are there in the relation we identified a pair which ends with 2 and starts with 2 now we are checking that a comma c ordered pair 1 comma 3 is there in the given relation order pair 1 comma 3 is not there in the given relation therefore r is not transitive r is not transitive so finally what is the conclusion this given relation on the given set neither reflexive nor symmetric nor transitive in next class if you practice another three four problems on this relations uh, topic uh, you will get more clarity how to check a relation is reflexive relation symmetric relation transitive relation i hope you understand this class if you like this video please press like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more updates. Thank you.